One of the companions, of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Jarab bin Abdullah al-Bajali, was one of the men, of the people of Yemen, present-day Haddad Bani Malik district, of Mecca region, in Saudi Arabia, and was known to be tall, good-looking, poet and orator, in which Omar ibn al-Khattab said, the Yusuf of this nation. He was described as a man, with a large corpse, and he had many good qualities, and was known for, his courage and generosity. It was the tenth year of the migration. Mecca had been conquered, and Islam had spread to more places. The surrounding tribes, came to Medina in groups, and became Muslims. The saving hand of Islam, also reached sons of Bajali. They were on the way to Medina, with a delegation of 150 people. Jarrah bin Abdullah was the leader of this group. When the group approached Medina, the Prophet, peace be upon him, was talking to his companions. At one point, he said, A Yemeni will come from that door soon. There is a sign, of a king, an angel, on his face. The companions started to wait, for that person, with both ears and eyes. Jarrah himself narrates, what happened after that as follows. As soon as I arrived in Medina, I changed my clothes, and entered the mosque. The Messenger of Allah, was talking to his companions then. I greeted them, and sat down. The Muslims were glancing at me. I asked the person sitting, next to me, did the Messenger of Allah mention me? Yes, he said. He has just mentioned you, in a nice way. When I heard that, I praised Allah Almighty. A little later, the Messenger of Allah asked me, O oh, Jarrah, why did you come? I said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I want to be a Muslim, in your presence. I told him that, I would pay allegiance to him, as a Muslim, and asked him to lay any conditions, he wished. He said, Pay allegiance to me that, there is no God but, Allah, that I am the Messenger of Allah, that you will worship Allah, without associating any partners with him, that you will perform prayers, and fasting, that you will help Muslims, that you will obey your leader, even if he is an Abyssinian slave, and that you will leave the polytheists. I said, I will. The Messenger of Allah, extended his hand, and I paid allegiance, to him, regarding the issues, he mentioned. After Jarrah, those who were with him, became Muslims, by paying allegiance, one by one. Jarrah bin Abdullah had a different place, in the eyes of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He complimented Jarrah, by saying, Jarrah is, from us. Whenever he saw Jarrah, he would smile. When delegations entered into his presence, he would send a message to Jarrah, and he would come, wearing nice clothes. The Prophet would introduce him, to the delegation, and mention his services, to Islam proudly. Jarrah stayed with the Messenger of Allah, in Medina for a while. During this time, he learned a lot from the Messenger of Allah. When he returned to his hometown, he invited his people to Islam. He became a means of guidance, for many people. At the same time, he occasionally went to Medina, to listen to the Messenger of Allah. Once, he was in Medina again. The Prophet asked him, what the condition of his tribe was. Jarrah gave the good news, to the Prophet. O Messenger of Allah! Almighty Allah made Islam superior. At hands are called, in the mosques, and areas of sons of Bajila. The tribes demolished the idols they had worshipped. The Messenger of Allah, was very happy to hear it. However, he asked. What happened to Dolkalasa? When Jarrah told him that, it remained as it was, the Messenger of Allah felt sad. By Allah! I will get rid of it too. O oh Jarrah! Can you not save me from it? Can you not relieve me? Tulkalasa was a temple, in Yemen, present-day Bisha, in the Seir region of Saudi Arabia. It was called, Yemen's Kaaba. In this temple was, an obelisk, made of marble, and embroidered with a stone crown. It was between Yemen and Mecca, about seven days away from Mecca. People sacrificed animals for it, and showed great respect to it. In this respect, Jarrah's mission was difficult. However, this great man, devoted his life to the way of the Messenger of Allah. 
he was ready to fulfill all of his commands and wishes. He did not think about the difficulties he would face while doing this. He answered without hesitation, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I will definitely do it. He made preparations without losing time. He took 150 men with him. Jer could not remain on horseback for a long time. Before he left, he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I cannot remain on horseback for a long time. The Prophet patted Jerer on the chest with his blessed hand. Then he said, O oh Allah, make him stable on horseback. Show him the right way. Make him among those who show the right way. After that Jerer never fell of the horse. When Jerer bin Abdullah arrived at Dul Kalasa, they did not allow him to demolish it. A battle took place. Two hundred polytheists were killed. Then the temple was demolished and burnt. It was ruined in a short time. Fulfilling his duty successfully, Jera returned to Medina. He gave the good news to the Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah prayed for them. After the farewell Hajj, the Prophet sent Jera to Yemen to invite Dul Kala and Dul Amr to Islam. Jera managed to do it too. He caused both of them to become Muslims. However, in the meantime, he heard that the Messenger of Allah passed away. He became very sad. Jerar bin Abdullah continued to convey the message of Islam and to teach it in the era of the four caliphs. Hazrat Umar admired him and complimented him due to the beauty of his face by saying, Jerar bin Abdullah is the Yusuf of this nation. The Prophet, peace be upon him, advised Jerar not to deceive in trade, to tell everyone the truth, and to give advice to people. Jerar acted in accordance with this advice throughout his life. When he sold something, he would inform the customer about all of the defects of it. This is the commodity, this is the price, these are its defects. You are free to buy it or not. People said to him, you cannot earn anything if you do like that. He said, I promised the Messenger of Allah like that. I will not break my promise, whether I earn money or not. Jerer, who spent his entire life in service to Islam, died in the 51st year after Hydra, in a town called Karkizia, on the Euphrates River, in eastern Syria. This historical mosque is named after this great companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and located in the district of Hadad Bani Malik, south of Taif Governorate, in the Makkah region. The mosque is renovated under Prince Muhammad bin Salman's project to develop historical mosques in the kingdom. The first construction of the mosque dates back to 1,400 years ago. After the current development, the mosque now includes the Imam's room, the prayer house on the eastern side, and another on the western side, a water tank, a warehouse, toilets, places of ablution, a well, and a cemetery.